Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arne Diaz Show. Today's show, a review of Firestarter. I'm not going to bury the lead on this one. Just going to be straight up front because when I went to go see this movie, there was literally nobody in the theater. This movie's not great. There are some redeeming qualities to it, but it's not great. A Firestarter is about a young girl who has the ability to start fire with her mind, who goes on the run with her father, running away from a shady government organization who is trying to use her for her powers. Adapted from the Stephen King novel, and also a reboot from the original Firestarter that was made back in the 70s, starring Drew Barrymore. The most of the film meanders through a plot about family, but it really just doesn't land. You don't feel for anyone, no one's really redeemable, and there is a lot of things about this film that just feel disjointed. There are some redeeming qualities about this movie. Chief of which is the performances. I have to say, and I know there's a lot of people who may not agree with me on this, but I genuinely believe this. I think Zac Efron's actually a pretty good actor. And I think he actually brought something to this movie. And I also think that the performance of the young girl, her name is Ryan Armstrong, also is very good. Though the effects do hinge on her kind of going very grimacy and yelling really loudly. The in-between moments between her and Zac Efron, I think, are good. The plot and the story just don't come together to make you feel for these characters. I just don't care about anybody. And you won't either when you watch this. The editing is disjointed, and it just feels as if this movie was made by somebody just starting out to make movies. Even to the point where the color correction was really muddy. Like, it just feels like somebody shot this movie raw, and just turn down the blacks and the shadows and maybe turn the saturation and maybe turn the saturation up a little bit. The effects look good, but they're kind of few and far between. I would actually recommend the original movie from the 80s. It's a lot better than this and a lot more superior. Another thing that I found actually really good about this movie and that almost kind of saved it is the score. It's really good. And it was actually done by John Carpenter, his son and one other person. And at first I thought this was kind of weird, but then doing some research, I realized that uh, John Carpenter was supposed to direct the original movie. However, because the thing did not do so well in theaters, turns out he was kicked off of that original movie. And I wonder if this was just some way of him trying to put his little taste and little spice on the new Firestarter because he liked the story so much. Genuinely, I believe that all movies are a miracle when they are made. This movie is just lackluster in the ways that a movie is supposed to be at the very least serviceable on. And that's story and plot. There are some things that happen towards the end of this movie that just don't make any sense. And the character motivations are completely lopsided and just strange and weird. And you just don't understand why some of these characters are doing the things they're doing. And it just turns into a completely confusing mess. There is some good effects. The last act of this movie is a pretty good, solid action mutant story. But you don't care about anybody. And you don't really care about what's happening to anybody. And because of that, you don't care what happens to anyone. And then, the, and then things get switched and flipped, and it just turns into this very unsatisfying ending. In a lot of ways, the ending of this movie is very reminiscent of like 70s horror movies, where the conclusion is just not even there, or it's ham-fisted, and... The filmmakers literally just like put together the ending in five minutes thinking that it would thinking that it would feel sinister when it really just falls flat. It really does just fall flat. But again, I have to say the performance out of Zac Efron and Ray Armstrong are solid. They are. They really are. And the score is really good too. Like seriously, John Carpenter's score in this movie is really, really good. It genuinely almost saves the movie, for me at least. But the beginning of the movie is interesting. It, 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 brings a, it brings in, it brings this story into the, the, the modern age and it feels kind of fresh, but as it moves, it slogs. The dialogue is weak, the plot is weak, and just even, even the color is weak in this whole thing. There just isn't a lot serviceable from this film. And I could understand why when I walked in the theater to watch this thing, I was literally the only one in the theater. I give Firestarter a solid 1.5. Surviving on its score and the performances alone, but the rest of this film is just kind of dull.
just like its color palette. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Arnie Diaz. I am Arnie Diaz 89 on all social media platforms. Thank you very much.